you know, that you, people will have a clear idea of what Frankfurt is, is um, like? Yeah, it's uh, Frankfurt, um, a lot of people are there because of the business, you know, mm -hmm. like... Um, it's a business center. Yes, they have a lot of companies there, and like also from the States, and um, yeah, it's more like that you really work there and make money in mm -hmm. Frankfurt, yeah. It's actually, it's in the middle, it's in, also in the middle from Germany, and from there you can, um, yeah, it's an international airport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many are you in the family? Oh, I have uh, one brother. One he's, brother. Yeah, five years younger than me. He's in Germany. He's so in Germany right yes, now. Yes, I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. What prompted you to be here? Uh, what did you mean to? Yeah, my the mom point. is from Mindanao, Visaya. Uh, and then. Um, Where were you in Visaya? Kotabato. Kotabato. Yeah, okay. uh, we're in wow. Provence, yes. Mm -hmm. So that was actually the first time, uh, I think 2012, mm -hmm. was the first time that my mom said, okay, you know what, now you're old enough and you almost finished your study and everything, let's, um, let's meet, let's meet my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, yeah, I went to the Provence, went to Kotabato. And, and how was the experience like, first, totally the first time you were living in Kotabato? Um, I stayed there two Did weeks. you get culture shock? No, it's, it's, it's not culture shock, it's more like that um, you became so humble, mm -hmm. super humble. I mean, I feel so blessed and lucky that I grew up in, um, in Germany, in everything world. is, yeah, everything yeah. is safe. And then, but I really wanted to see that and... Um, you want to see your roots. Yeah, of course, and of course, Kotabato, it's not like Makati, yeah. it's really, really Provence, it's like really from the... They, I mean, like they don't even have a house, like, you know, like all the, or even the toilet, simple things, simple mm -hmm. things. It's like luxury already, mm -hmm. and that makes me uh, so humble. I mean, like the first, um, I'm used to taking a, a hot shower. So mm -hmm. the first time when I got there, there's no hot shower. <laughs> no, I was like, why? Why is not the first warm? Even when it's hot there, I mean, it's kind of, it's like really hot there. But mm -hmm. still, I was like, why is it not coming hot? They were like, yeah, you, have, you need a heat. I didn't you even know. To yeah, you mm -hmm. really have to install a heat. I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like. Um, makes me so humble and mm -hmm. makes you kind, makes you appreciate. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I was I had teary eyes actually because I, you know, we or me or even people we complaining about so mm -hmm. so small so things, things. But look at them; they don't even for them. It's not normal that they even have hot water. Mm -hmm. And we we are so spoiled. Also, <laughs> I also oh, I'm so blessed that I was expecting that already makes me well it was nice nice experience i met my lola i met um mm. my teacher what was the best advice your mother gave you um actually I, yeah the, what, what makes me happy mm -hmm. I mean, that's why i'm still here i mean like i i still i from germany compared to the philippines um i gave up everything mm -hmm. everything just to be here because you've been here for how many years now three years now. three years mm -hmm. so in I the span of three years what is the most Wonderful thing about the Philippines that you can always share to the people in Germany. The love. The, the love. love they have here. The pin I heard. Oh. It's like seriously. Oh. Um, no, seriously, <laughs> without, without, um. Oh, excuse me. No problem. <laughs> so you said you gave up a lot of Hello. things? Hello. Yes, of course. Gave up? Um, no, I, I studied in Germany. I had a, oh, no I'm a HR. I'm a recruiter headhunter. I work for um, companies oh, in Germany. Oh, you're a girl. So everything was safe. Second girl, I'm going to be married. Everything was safe was uh, planned, ah, okay. organized, okay, so everything, the insurance, everything, um, my friends, my family, mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I gave up uh, the comfort zone, the, the safe so, life. So yeah. when, you, when you went here in Manila, did you, um, did you, did you have your, uh, did you, did you, um, did you your, your mom had to fly into, fly back to Germany? Uh, no, at state? first I had, um, it was like that, that I had, like, three weeks vacation, so mm -hmm. two weeks over there, oh. one week here, mm -hmm. and then um, came back to Germany, and then, I don't know, something, it's like, I said, <laughs> I, I, no, I want, no, I really was interested in, in the Philippines itself, mm -hmm. so I wanted to travel, like Boracay, so, mm -hmm. and then I said, okay, my next vacation, because I was, um, yeah, I was working, mm -hmm. and then I said, okay, then 2013, I came back for vacation, so I went to Bohol, to Boracay, to all the places, all and the tourist then places. I fell so in love, I fell so in love, that I said, you know what, I really, I think, I don't know, I need to be here, I need to, yeah, I love the Philippines so much, and um, of course mm -hmm. the weather. I mean, mm -hmm. in Germany we have four seasons, mm -hmm. and it's nice, but for me, I really like it, I like it hot. You like tropical? 
Yeah, I even said you know here with a jacket, <laughs> you know, because you always put the air cord like, oh, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> no, really, that's that's why. So I said okay, and then um, yeah, I feel so much. I'm still in love with the people so that are still here. In yeah, it's a oh. recruiter, like mm. headhunter. So you just like um, jumping into the unknown. So Jumping into the deep blue dark forest all alone. You really yeah. have to be, um, no, you have to have guts, you have to be brave. It was okay. not easy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I had my ups and downs. Can you tell us more about it? And it, it was the, 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 the Yeah, my struggles. Yeah, I, um, I failed until now I'm failing. Mm -hmm. Until every, every day, I mean, um, I, needed, I needed to, yeah, to make, to go out of my comfort zone to go mm -hmm. here. To grow, mm -hmm. because Germany is so safe. You get it's like we, in Germany we're working really uh, hard. It's like okay, here's they 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 teach you how to be, how to work. But here it's more. Um, I learn a lot about myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like how there were more self discoveries. Yes, yeah, so how brave am I? If I'm even brave, I am brave. I don't know. So this mm -hmm. is the and I'm all alone mm -hmm. and I'm Tagalog. I can more understand and speak. Mm -hmm. So it's also sometimes not so easy. Yeah, sometimes I don't get. Where it. do you live here? Uh, Mandaluyong. Mandaluyong. So how are you surviving the Philippine traffic? Is there traffic in Frankfurt? No. Is there traffic? No, no, no. Only no. if they have an accident and they go to close. Oh, no. uh, that's the only time. Yeah, so are there beggars in Frankfurt? Not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. like, are there poor families in Frankfurt? Um, they have, but still. But not have, as beautiful yeah, as the yeah. poor people in the Philippines. Yeah, actually, what, what, <laughs> what breaks my heart, and I think every one of us who has a heart, is like kids begging on the, on the streets. On the street. I think that's you don't have that in Frankfurt. No, no, no. no. How do you, when the first time you have that kind of encounter? <laughs> so I said, um, I, have to do, I have to do something, not just even to prove it to myself or to, to work here or stay here. So uh, that's why I put myself in the chair. Mm, and that okay. Yeah, so what are you? What are the charitable works that you've been doing so far? Uh, I went to Cebu, made a commission. Then Tondo, mm -hmm. went to Tondo. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see that. That was an experience. I think I'll never forget. I mean, the province was also experience, but I think to Tondo when you go so to Tondo. So you were the system when you're seeing things when you mm -hmm. when you when you went here in Manila, or are you doing anything? Do you have a day you job are? here, regular? Yeah, oh no, just as freelance modeling. Freelance so I do modeling. castings, yeah. I do our augusting roles, mm -hmm. I every day. You audition. Every day is a new day, a new start, a new mm -hmm. chance. But mm -hmm. mostly you're subsisting in your savings back in Germany. Uh, before, yeah, before, uh, before, the first year. Mm -hmm. The first year, yeah. Otherwise it would be, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind time. <laughs> it would look at after so, okay. Yeah. But why so, would you, I'm just curious, like, why would you um, give up something that's stable and yeah, and familiar to something that is um, unknown? Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not everything that you have. Uh, I know. Um, and I'm sure most of the girls in, in in whatever country would choose to be safe and in, in an environment. You know what? Safe is is nice. Makes you makes you sleep in peace, but it doesn't mm. challenge you. It doesn't. Mm. You, how how you know? It's like. I want to know. I should join this universe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I really want to know. You're, you're for the win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really want to go. We should have asked Maxine to be close okay. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think um, I want to live every day like it's going to be my last day. Okay. And um, uh. I want to um, live really life to the fullest. And Germany is, I know already, you know, everything mm. is planned.